Hello, everybody, and welcome to session 11 of our program evaluation class. Um, today, we're going to be covering the last of the um, quasi-experimental tools that we've been talking about this semester, um, which is instrumental variables. Um, these are kind of the least intuitive of the other approaches we've looked at um, compared to diff and diff and regression discontinuity. These are weird, um, which is why we're spending two sessions on them. Um, but they're, they're weird, but they're useful. And so as you'll see the next session, um, we talk more about instrumental variables, but we'll also talk about regression discontinuity because you can use instruments um, to help you with fuzzy regression discontinuity. Um, you can also use instruments for random control trials and other um, things that aren't standard instrumental variables things. Um, so this is an important concept, but again, it's kind of weird and non-intuitive. So we'll talk about it a lot this session and in the next session so you can kind of get get a hang get a handle on what these instrumental variables are um, so let's go ahead and go to the slides and we'll show what we'll cover in this session and then in the next session we'll talk more about instruments um, so the plan for today um, before we talk about instruments themselves we need to talk about this idea of endogeneity and exogeneity and what the difference is between those two things um, then we'll talk about instruments and what they are and how you um, determine if something is a good instrument or not. And then we'll demonstrate how to actually use instruments in regression. Um, so that's the plan for today is just kind of an overview of instruments and how to use them. So let's get started. <laughs> 